Meanwhile, Monique is back in the news. You know, she has a couple of projects that are coming up, but a lot of people are still talking about her semi-feud with Lee Daniels. Yeah, she says that Lee told her that she had blackballed for being difficult. Well, we talked to Lee, and he seemed to back it up. But look at Mo now. Yes. I mean, so did Hollywood really turn its back on her? I never bought into me being blackballed by Hollywood. That was something that Mr. Daniel said. She asked me, why haven't I worked? And I said, you pissed a lot of people off. You were making demands. Her feud with Daniels runs deep. Monique claims he cut her out of two of his biggest projects. She told us she even has emails proving she was originally offered the part of Cookie in Empire. And God, do not withhold your blessings. And she claims he offered her the role of Gloria in The Butler before he convinced Oprah. Say, Lee, I just don't want to embarrass myself. And he was he would say to me, Stop saying that. Stop saying that. Why do you think you're gonna embarrass yourself? Because it's like picking up an instrument when you haven't touched it in 15 years. I love Mr. Daniels, and I wish that brother nothing but the absolute best. And we actually reached out to him through email and we haven't gotten a response. So why did Monique disappear? Sacrifice. After winning the Oscar for Precious, she didn't work in Hollywood for nearly four years. Her reason, not that she was blackballed, but that she was lowballed. When you didn't see me, and then he said I was blackballed, people married those two things together and said, oh, that's why we haven't seen her. That's not why. It's simply because if we continue to take those low offers, that award means absolutely nothing. So was the holdout worth it? How could you be so selfish? The answer may be yes. She is producing and starring in the new movie Blackbird, and she's coming to HBO. Remember what I told you about the blues? Monique co-stars with Queen Latifah and Bessie, the story of blues legend Bessie Smith, and it's her biggest payday yet. What they did was played fair. When I say I make more money from HBO than I've ever made in my career, that's what it is because they were fair in the negotiations.